So there's five home insurance discounts that you're likely not aware of. These are some of the unique ones and pieces that a lot of people don't know exist. Now, a lot has changed in the last probably two years or so where the pandemic has changed a lot. The price of wood has made the cost of homes to go up and a lot of the different scenarios with hurricanes and different events in Texas where we've had a lot of damage in other states where it just wasn't typical. Well, because of that, there's been a lot of things that insurance companies have looked at and some of the things that they've always gone for and people don't realize is the first piece your marital status plays a factor. Whether you're married or not, in some states don't matter, but more so in most states, it does affect the rate. That's why they're constantly asking, are you married, single, or widowed, divorced, or separated? Depending on what you choose there, the rate could change in the state that you're in. The married couples tend to have less accidents. They also, from a financial standpoint, tend to want to bundle their home and their auto insurance and are likely open for life insurance. So there's a lot more products that they can go after and there's a reason and a good reason that they're going to want to go after more discounts to pull that person in to see if there's other products as well as the risk is generally lower. Now that one's gonna net you about a 5% discount on average. That's pretty common, it's three to 5% for having the marital discount. The second one is having a fortified home. Now this isn't gonna be in every state that you're in, but anywhere near a coastline like Alabama or Texas or Florida, you guys have a lot of weather damage. And insurance companies will give you a discount for fortifying and saving your home from natural disasters. I believe in Florida, there's tie downs that you can put over your roof that will actually protect your roof from blowing off in the event of a hurricane. There's a bunch of different things that they're gonna apply for this discount. I'm gonna list a few from this article I'm reading on Yahoo Finance where they have hurricane shutters. In Michigan, we have kind of fake shutters, but they don't shut. These actually have to function and close off the actual home. The roof has hurricane straps, like we just mentioned. In Florida, that's a very common thing. Hail resistant roofs, that's actually a discount in a lot of states. Even in Michigan, that's a question that they ask because those roofs not only are hail resistant, but they last longer. They're typically your 50 plus year roof and they know that there's not likely gonna be any damage, if at all, in the next 20 plus years. Having a house generator also helps. Whether it's a backup that you have to hook up is kind of a discount, but if you have a self-sustained one that instantly kicks in when there's an event where the power goes out, a lot of times it's on a farmland, uh, that's where you see them the most, and they're in the little wood boxes. If you've ever seen that looks like a dog house, there's usually a generator in there, and it's just a backup in case the power goes out. A fire sprinkler system in the house, fairly rare, but that used to be a common question, especially in states like California, it seemed like they had those more often than not. It tends to fall into the renters category because most renting dwellings will have that, but in some homes they also add that as well. And on top of it, different things like lightning protection, uh, smart smoke alarms, so these are becoming the more common and smart sensors. So if you have a water detection service or device that shuts your water off if it noticed that there's a leak. Insurance companies have gone so far to actually sell this at a discounted price so that they can protect themselves as well as you for the homeowner that might want to have that extra level of protection. Now these smoke alarms and these uh, devices and fire alarms, they call them smart. They used to be called internal or they used to be called central devices. And what essentially that does is it notifies you either via an app or and it will notify the police or fire department if there's an occurrence. You never know, you come home and the fire department's just sitting there with the lights flashing and it tells you that your device went off. Kind of a nice thing to have. It's unfortunate if it glitches because now you have to foot the bill for the fire department to show up. The third one is going to be your mortgage. If you are a mortgage-free homeowner, you're gonna get a discount for that. So having that mortgage go away shows that the insurance that you're financially responsible. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that at the end because the fifth one is gonna go into depth a little bit more on that.
Number four is an age piece and partially a financial piece where if you're retired or a retiree, you're gonna get a large discount on that. That's actually one of the best discounts that I find. It's typically not necessarily tied specifically to retirees, although some companies do. If you're 50 or older, that's the age range that's perfect. Also, they have what's called a retiree discount. So typically when you're 50 or older, the companies will allow you to apply the retiree discount whether you're retired or not. Now it used to be that that was really heavily checked and that was a big piece, but a lot of these companies just haven't changed the names of them and they have allowed those to go through. Other companies, you've gotta be careful because we don't wanna cheat the system and say you're retired when you're not. So if you don't have approval from the company, I don't recommend just throwing that discount out there where you're getting the wrong risk for the wrong person. Essentially, I've seen the retiree discount go above 10%. In this article, it says 10%. I know it's a bigger discount on the home more than it is on the auto. So if you're a CPA or you're an engineer or you're some sort of uh, occupational or more union member or some sort of affiliate, typically on the auto, you're gonna get a better discount there. And then on the home, you're gonna get the best discount that I've seen is being a retiree. In the fifth, but not the final, because there's a handful more that you guys wanna learn, I'll talk about them here in just a second, is going to be your credit score. And this is what we call an insurance score. I actually just made a video that goes into depth. I will link it here that you can watch it after this video because it plays a large factor on your insurance premium. Surprisingly enough, I put a poll out there and not a lot of people knew that insurance score or credit scores played a factor and it actually plays one of the biggest factors. Just like we talked about earlier, where we were talking about how the financial risk, being retired, paying off your home, being married, having extra income, buying other products, it's a business and they're finding the best fits for clients. Well, if you have a good credit score, you're likely financially responsible and you're not likely to file claims and have those additional pieces go against you. Well, in this case, what we're talking about is the pieces that make up an insurance score. And that's what that video is gonna talk about is 30% is because of your credit and 40% is because of the longevity of your credit. And all of that plays a factor along with your clue report, which is more tickets, accidents, things like that. And those make up what we call an insurance score. And that insurance score does play a large factor, can be hundreds of dollars different depending on what ranking that they give you in that scoring. Now that's not the end all be all because I actually have a video that goes into depth on the additional 15 discounts that you should have on your car insurance and home insurance. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that video here for you guys to watch. So go ahead and check that video out there. It's the top 15 discounts that you can get insurance. If you haven't reviewed the main Home 101, I'm gonna link this video here as well. I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I'll see you in the next one.